Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to talk about how you can interlink multiple Honeywell six combo combination smoke, um, heat, and carbon monoxide sensors. Um, by interlink, I'm talking about the one go, all go feature. Uh, so this feature means that when you have uh, multiple um, six combo devices, as well as uh, six smoke devices on your Honeywell Lyric alarm system, and um, one of them activates, that is um, a six combo detects um, high temperature smoke or um, carbon monoxide, or your six smoke uh, detects smoke or high heat. One of the sensors activates, uh, then all of the other sensors um, programmed on the system that also have the feature enabled will also activate. Um, they, these sensors have built in 85 decibel, um, 85 decibel sounders. Um, and so having multiple, multiple sensors activate, it spreads the sound um, across the building further, and it's more likely that the building occupants will be notified to the alarm. Um, so this, this is important if you have a large home, maybe you have a, a large business complex, and um, you, you have a sensor activate, but then you might not hear it on the other side of the building. Well, um, this will help ensure that everyone is notified because assuming you have your sensors placed out um, throughout the building, which you should, these are life safety sensors, then people will be notified and they'll know to take action and they'll know to get out of the building. Um, so you can enable or disable this feature for each sensor individually. So if you have a sensor that you don't want to include in this one go all go network, then you can take it off the network by uh, doing the toggle option, which I'll show you in a second here. Um, but uh, typically, most users want to have this enabled for all their sensors just because if there's a fire or a carbon monoxide outbreak, then it's, a, it's important that everyone knows about it, um, so you want to have as much notice as possible. Um, I guess you could also include the, the Honeywell 6 siren in the one go all, all go network. Um, those will also activate along with the panel sounder. Um, those are also 85 decibels in terms of uh, sound volume. But um, this, the 6 sirens, I mean, th those are sirens that go along with the panel, so it's it's to be expected that they would activate, but um, you could also consider them part of the network. So really, you'll have your six combos, your six smokes, your six sirens, and your Honeywell Lyric alarm system. They'll all be sounding their 85 decibel sounders. Um, if you need a, lar a, a louder uh, siren, uh, maybe 85 decibels just doesn't cut it. I don't know, you're in an industrial complex or something and it's very loud, then uh, you might consider adding um, a Z-Wave siren, uh, such as the Qolsys IQ siren which is 105 decibels. Um, and if that doesn't cut it for you, then you can look into hardwired options, uh, maybe using a Mimo Lite uh, Z-Wave Relay. Uh, so that's an option as well. But um, the, the point of uh, having the one go all go, it's like I said, it's just to spread the sound out further. You're not necessarily going to get a louder sound because it's all 85 decibels, but by spreading it out with multiple devices throughout your building, then uh, you can help ensure that everyone's notified. Now. Uh, we have one six combo enrolled with our Lyric system. Um, it's already enrolled, um, but I'm going to show you uh, where the toggle option is uh, for the one go logo. So uh, let's get us into the menu. So we're at the main screen of our Lyric. Um, now we're at the main screen of our Lyric. Um, we're going to choose security, and we're going to choose tools, and then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. We're going to choose program, and then we're going to press the down arrow here, and we're going to choose six programming. Uh, that's for the six combo devices and the six smoke devices. These are six series sensors, so they're shown in six programming. Now you can see we have this six smoke uh, slash CO. That's actually our six combo device. So we're going to be working with that. So we're going to click on it and we're going to choose edit. Um, we highlighted it blue and then we pressed edit. That's how we got to this menu. And you see we have different services here that we can toggle on and off. Uh, smoke, heat, and CO. CO is carbon monoxide and we can choose uh, alarm report for those options. We want them all enabled. Um, otherwise, the system wouldn't send out a signal to, um, the, the, to AlarmNet or, um, so it can reach the central monitoring station when there is an alarm. Um, so you generally want to have those enabled. And there's also a verify option for smoke um, just to prevent false alarms if you have that enabled. But what we're focusing on here now um, is the one go, all go option down here at the bottom. Uh, so if I press the green button here and then it turns gray, I have turned one go, all go off. So if I had other six combo and or six smoke devices on the system and they were set up with one go all go, but this one had it uh, gray like that, then this sensor, um, the one we have uh, right here, right, right here today, um, it wouldn't activate. Um, the other sensors would activate as long as we had them enabled for the one go all go. And of course, the one that 
it detects, the smoke, heat, or carbon monoxide will activate. But only the ones that have the one go, all go uh, option toggled on with the green, which will toggle all ours back on, will activate. So now that we toggled it back on, that one will activate if another sensor, if another um, six series life safety sensor activated on the Lyric system. So if we had a six smoke program with our Lyric system and we had it set up with one go, all go, we had this one on the one go, all go network, then that one would activate. Let's say we had a third one that didn't have the option on like, uh, like that, if we had it gray, then it wouldn't activate. So you, um, if you want it to be one go, all go, then um, have that checked. So um, just at, kind of as a rule of thumb, assuming you want all your devices on the one go, all go network, which most people do, then uh, have it green. If there's one device that maybe you don't want to be on one go, all go for whatever reason, you can set that device individually to off, and the other ones can all be on to be part of the one go, all go network. Well, we want ours one go, all go, so we'll keep that on there. And just as a reminder, once you configure the one go, all go setting to on or off, uh, depending on how you want to use it, uh, remember to press save in the bottom right corner so that way your, your changes are saved. We're going to do that now. We saved our changes. So that's the one go, all go feature on the Honeywell 6 combo. Um, it also applies to the Honeywell 6 smoke. Um, that's how you interlink the devices so that way they all activate. And by activate, I mean their sounders will trigger their 85 decibel sounders, will trigger when one device um, detects smoke, heat, carbon monoxide, whatever, um, even if that device uh, doesn't detect anything. If it's in a different, different room, a different area where it hasn't been activated, another sensor on the system activates, it sends the alert to the system, the system says, hey, all these devices are on one go, all go, and it activates all the other sensors as well so that all of the building occupants can be notified. So that's the one go, all go feature on the six combo. If you have any questions about the six combo or the Lyric alarm system or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.